Hi everyone, welcome to IoT Project Ideas. Today, we will be discussing how to create a home automation project with Raspberry Pi Pico W and Blink 2.0 using MicroPython code. The main idea behind this project is to create a smart home automation system that allows us to control our home appliances remotely. We will be using Raspberry Pi Pico W board with Blink 2.0 application to create this system. And with this system, we will be able to control our home appliances from our mobile phones as well as through web dashboard from any part of the world. To complete this project, we will need the following components. Raspberry Pi Pico W board, 4 channel relay module, 4 ohm appliances. I am using 4 light bulbs for demonstration, few jumper wire, and a PCB board. To connect the components together, we will be following the circuit diagram shown in the screen. To interface a 4 channel relay module with Raspberry Pi Pico W, VCC is connected to VBUS pin and GND is connected to GND pin. The IN1, IN2, IN3 and IN4 pins of the relay module are connected to GP19, 18, 17 and 16 pins of Raspberry Pi Pico W respectively. Once you have successfully connected the relay module to the Raspberry Pi Pico W, you can attach 4 AC light bulb to the relays by connecting each bulb to the normally open terminal of each relay. The other end of the bulb should be connected to the AC power source. Please keep in mind that working with AC power can be dangerous and should only be done by experienced individual with necessary knowledge and precautions. We have also created a custom PCB for our project to make the connection more reliable and neat. In the description below, you can find the Gerber file of the PCB and you can use it to order the custom PCB from PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a PCB prototype and assembly manufacturer that offers high quality boards and affordable price. Simply upload your Gerber files and choose your preferences like layers, board thickness, shoulder max, etc. Then select your preferred shipping method, then place your order. Overall, ordering a custom PCB from PCB way is a simple and efficient way to get exactly what you need for this project. Setting up Blink 2.0 application. To set up the Blink 2.0 application, we will first create a template on the web dashboard. Click on add new template, provide a name for the project and select other as a hardware type with the connection type set to Wi-Fi. Now click on the OK button so that the template is created successfully. We will then configure widgets with data stream on the dashboard to control the relays connected to the Raspberry Pi Pico W board. Add 4 button widgets and then configure them for relays. To do this, click on the gear icon next to each button and create a new data stream. Choose the virtual pin and the name of the data stream, relay1. Assigning it the virtual pin B1 and setting the data type to integer. Repeat this process for all other three relays, assigning them to a virtual pin B2, B3, and B4. Once all four data streams have been created, click Save and apply to save the entire project. Next, we need to create a device for this project. Now to add a new device, let's choose from the template. And then selecting the previously created template, 
give a name to the device and new device will be created. Now the Blink authentication token code will be displayed on the right side of the corner. Copy this token as it is required for MicroPython code. Program source code. Now that we have set up the Blink 2.0 application, we will move on to the programming part. We will use MicroPython code to control the relays based on user input from the Blink 2.0 application. The code is divided into two parts, blinklib.py and main.py. The blinklib.py library provides an API that enables connectivity between IoT hardware and the Blink Cloud. The main.py code sets up connection to the Blink server using a Wi-Fi network and controls four relays based on user's inputs. Make sure to update the Wi-Fi SSID and password and the Blink authentication token on the relevant lines before saving the code to Raspberry Pi Pico W board. You can find these codes on our website link provided in the description. Mobile Dashboard Setup First, download and install the Blink IoT application on your mobile phone. Log in to your account. You will see a new device name, Home Automation. Click on it to start configuring the mobile dashboard, which is similar to the web dashboard. You can create four button widget to control the relays. That's all for the mobile dashboard setup. Now you can control the relays using these buttons on your mobile device. To test and demo the Raspberry Pi Pico home automation project, first save the provided code and run it on the Raspberry Pi Pico W board. Once the code is running, you can begin testing the project using the Blink web app or mobile dashboard. In the web app, navigate to the project dashboard and then click on button widget. This should turn on the corresponding relay. Click on the button again to turn off the relay. And similarly, you can control the relay using the Blink mobile app. Open the app and then navigate to the project dashboard. Tap the button widget to turn on the relay and tap it again to turn it off. With both web app and mobile dashboard, you can control your AC home appliances from anywhere in the world. Overall, testing and demonstrating the project is straightforward and allows you to see the project in action. That's all about this home automation project using Raspberry Pi Pico W and Blink 2.0 using MicroPython code. We hope you found this video helpful in creating your own smart home automation system. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content. See you soon. Bye bye.